Alrighty, welcome back to Weenie Trades. This video will be the weekly game plan. These will just be uh, stocks with potential setups for the upcoming week. So last week, I usually like to talk about last week in these weekly game plans. We said we like this Boeing bull flag. Do you see the Boeing bull flag? Here you go, there's your move up. We go sideways for a bit. And we said I like to go long over 217.50. Boom, we went long just about 217.50. Was able to get out at some out at uh, 228, which is actually nearly the high, but I didn't get out of my full position, so I had to stop out on Boeing on the second half. But nonetheless, Boeing was a positive trade for us last week from the daily bull flag. Last week I said um, I'm gonna be going long Roku over 470, and boy, I, it's, it, the daily chart doesn't do it uh, enough service. Not even the hourly chart does. But basically, Roku that day, we went ahead and went long on Roku, just over that 460, added over 470. And like we said, we we're going to take some profits at 478. We took profits at 478, 480. Unfortunately, on the last piece, I did have to take a pretty big hit on Roku because I was swing trading it instead of just day trading it. So Roku is more of a day trading stock instead of a swing trading one, but it did have the chance to pop those all-time highs. But shame on Roku, big false reversal. Watch out for Roku potentially to continue downward if this bear flag plays out, which goes into the market next week. So we also said on, um, I like DraftKings over 62. Well, DraftKings actually kind of did the deal last week. DraftKings over 62, and we said to take profits at 63. Boom, DraftKings did the deal. Nice little small little baby trade. Uh, if you go already watch the live streams, we had we just kind of like peacefully went out of that. Didn't really have to think of that, and it was really nice. And then last week, there's just a no trigger on Peloton. We said to go long on Peloton over 140. Well, Peloton never went over 140, so there was no reason to ever get into Peloton. And so Peloton, we just watched drop and uh, bouncing off the demand. Peloton is actually in this week's game plan to go long over 122. I really like how we just uh, bounced off of this demand zone ever so slightly. It's taking quite a while, but it's a nice curling formation at a higher low. I am a little bit weary that it's also a bear flag and could continue down, but that's completely dependent on the spy. So this week we're watching the spy. I have a, actually have a strangle on my deltas. So I have positive and negative deltas, meaning I'm short the spy. So I make money as the spy drops, but I'm also in other stocks like Starbucks over through all time highs. With speaking of Starbucks, Starbucks is in this week's game plan to go long. Starbucks over 108.50. And we can just get a nice good push up on Starbucks, targeting about the 110, 111 area with a stop as a daily close right underneath 107. So Starbucks, nice and easy, nice in this week's game plan. In this week's game plan, I'm also looking to go long on plug. Plug over $50 a share. $50 a share, we can get a nice good pop on plug if that were to occur. And it's just most likely. It doesn't mean it has to. But um, plug stop is going to be an hourly close beneath, you know, 48.50. Got to give it a little bit of wiggle room, but not too much because it just could just be the top and we could fall through. So I don't want too wide of stops this week. I want to keep them nice and tight. And hopefully those short sellers will get squeezed if we are to rally in the market. Which speaking of the market, let's go to the SPY. I'm looking to short the SPY right underneath 380. I'm going to add to my short trade. And I'm going to be targeting something like the 375 level, maybe as low as 370. And if the volume's really high and it's getting really nasty, I'm going to be targeting the 365 on the SPY this week. That's if we start to break those lows on heavy vol volume. And stop is just going to have to be uh, about an hourly close above 383. You got to give SPY quite a bit of room. There's a lot of whipsaws on it. And we could, we could very well be bouncing back and forth. It's very difficult to decide where we're going to go until we get a definitive break really over the breakdown candle highs or if we can get a nice sharp sell off. So that'll be the spy this week. Um, another thing I'm looking to trade this week is forward slash natural gas, natural gas. I was actually kind of looking at this. I was like, oh, this is a nice, good steady sell off in the demand zone. If natural gas starts to break this resistance level, I don't know, 2.82 then we will be looking for some upside and targeting somewhere around the rim about the midpoint of the range maybe as high as that resistance level to, f to trade forward slash ng you need to trade ung i like ung at least there's other vehicles but this one's nice and small and even the option chain is a little bit peaceful spreads are a little bit wide but maybe you can find some tighter liquidity during the day so that'll be on forward slash ng and then lastly let's talk about palantir pltr pltr nice good uh, a bounce, small bounce off of support, but it did show relative strength on Friday. So Palantir, I'm looking to go long over 2420. 
and looking to just take profits right about the 2570. So I wouldn't want it going five minutes beneath 24 if we take that entry, if I take that entry, I should say. So the Weenie Trades course is actually finished. I'm super excited. Here's the Weenie Trades course. I mean, we're, we're, we're going we're gonna to be adding. It's never really finished because I'm going to constantly be adding to this, but there's tons of files. There's fun and knowledge like learning quizzes. There's really good stuff. And we'll just be constantly expanding that. We'll be adding options and stuff like that. But if you are, um, if you choose to invest in the course early, you're gonna get that price. And then I'll just be adding the price up and up and up as I add more stuff after the first few weeks. So the course, super exciting, lots of great stuff. And because of the course, the course members are gonna get access to the weekly game plans early. And then I'll just release the weekly game plans maybe on Monday morning or Monday during the day. Of course, you can always ask me about the weekly game plans during the live stream at Weenie Trades Live. Be sure to ask me any questions about the course in the comments. And I'm super excited for this upcoming week. Alrighty, thanks for tuning in. See ya.